The honest answer is not, not really, because I was thinking more about the fact that our, our way of life, our, our phenotype, if you will, the way that we're expressing ourselves in life would have to change. Um, and our behaviors would have to change as a result of the pandemic. But neuroplasticity, which I agree is an incredible concept, I think is more about this idea that there are certain areas of the brain. We used to think of the brain as this very sort of uh, spe have specific functions for specific areas. And we now know that that's not the case, that different areas of the brain can do different things and they can even take over if one part of the brain is damaged. Uh, and you can and there's also something known as neurogenesis. Are you familiar with neurogenesis? Well, Genesis is the chapter of creation, so Correct. creation of new brain matter. Yeah, new brain cells, exactly. So we now know that's possible as well. Crazy. So it's crazy, right? <laughs> we can just we're this close to being Wolverine at this point. Oh, I hadn't. I see you making me think. I hadn't thought of it that way. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We we are growing new brain cells. But going back to neuroplasticity and neurogenesis, I do think that uh, we're learning a lot more about the brain. And we're realizing that you can grow new brain cells at any age, which I think that's pretty exciting because people think as you get older, your brain cells like stop regrowing.